Donald Trump is taking the prospect of a possibly imminent criminal case against him with predictable rage. In recent comments on Truth Social, which is his knockoff social media site, he spoke to a potentially looming arrest possibly taking place specifically on Tuesday. It was unclear where he got that specific day, but his rhetoric certainly implied he had special knowledge, and accompanying his outrage about the possibility of charges were further demands for action by his supporters. The statements mirrored the lead-up to what became the deadly capital riot inspired by his election lies. Whatever the decision is of the grand jury, its consideration of this case makes clear, no one is above the law, not even a former president of the United States, Rep. Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, said this weekend. The former president's announcement this morning is reckless, doing so to keep himself in the news and to foment unrest among his supporters. He cannot hide from his violations of the law, disrespect for our elections and incitements to violence. Rightfully, our legal system will decide how to hold him accountable. Pelosi, although she is no longer Speaker of the House or Democratic leader in the chamber, still holds her House seat representing a district in Northern California. Trump, meanwhile, is turning to further apocalyptic language. We are a nation in steep decline, being LED into World War III by a crooked politician who doesn't even know he's alive, but who is surrounded by evil and sinister people who, based on their actions on defunding the police, destroying our military, open borders, NO voter ID, inflation, raising taxes, and much more, can only hate our now failing USA, he ranted just this weekend online. The borders are not open according to just basic reality, some locales do require voter ID, Biden and the Democrats actually in office in Congress continue to largely support police funding, and the nonsense goes on. Trump's despising of what in reality is just the modern United States is telling about where his allegiance really lies. This isn't about actual patriotism.